Hey, thanks for tuning in to our catch can installation video. Before we get started, I'd like to take a second and explain to you some of the benefits of a catch can and what a catch can does. Catch cans mount in line with the, your vehicle's vacuum system, catching contaminants such as oil before they can make it back into your engine. The Boomba Racing Catch Can offers some pretty unique features such as the ability to hold over 350 milliliters of liquid, a two-step outlet filtration system, a user configurable inlet and outlet setup, a quick easy drain NPT plug, a sight window on the side of the can to see the level of the contaminants inside of it. These cans are also CNC machined from billet aluminum, so there's no welding or anything to worry about cracking there. And they also come with a bracket specific to your project to help make installation as easy as possible. In this video, we are going to be showing you how to install the Stage 1 catch can for your Mustang EcoBoost. This is the CCV side. And we are also going to be showing you how to install our Stage 2 catch can for the Mustang EcoBoost, which works on the PCV side. For the installation of these catch cans, the following tools are required. An 8mm socket and a 10mm socket, a half inch socket, a 4mm, 5mm, and 6mm Allen wrench, a box cutter, heat gun, work gloves, and a flathead screwdriver. To begin the Stage 1 catch can install, you can start by removing the engine cover. Remove the ground bolt located on the passenger side strut tower. Install the catch can mounting bracket. Install the catch can on the mounting bracket. Insert an Allen wrench all the way into one of the fittings and rotate the top of the catch can 90 degrees counterclockwise. Disconnect the wire harness and also disconnect the vent line coming from the engine cover. Disconnect the vent line from the intake. Lubricate the provided fittings. Cut the factory vent line. Heat it with the heat gun and press in the provided fitting. Be very careful at this point and wear heavy duty work gloves to prevent burns. Heat up the vent line and press in the other fitting. Connect the vent lines. The longer hose goes to the outlet, whereas the shorter hose goes to the inlet. Secure the vent lines with the provided zip ties as you see fit. Reconnect the electrical harness. To begin stage 2 installation, disconnect the MAP sensor and also disconnect the VVT solenoid. Disconnect the wiring harness that runs to the throttle body.
Remove the bolts holding the intake manifold. Pull the intake manifold away from the engine and towards the outside of the car. Press the white tab and remove the vent line from the engine block. Press the white tab and remove the vent line from the intake manifold. Cut the factory vent line. Oil the fittings and the vent hoses. Heat the ends with the heat gun. Install the fittings and secure them with the provided hose clamps. At this point, be very careful and wear heavy duty work gloves to prevent burns. Connect new vent lines to the fittings and secure them with the hose clamps. The longer hose will go to the outlet on the catch can, whereas the shorter hose will go to the inlet. Connect the vent line to the engine block. Connect the vent line to the intake manifold. Reinstall the intake manifold and reconnect the wiring harness. Install the catch can with the hardware provided. Connect the vent lines to the catch can. Reinstall the engine cover. At this point you are now finished with installation.